Hi there. So I, I'm squinting a bit because the, the sun's coming in the window. So uh, sorry about that. Um, today I decided, as um, Stamping Up have announced a 24-hour stamp set sale from the annual catalogue, 15% um, off, I thought I would grab a few stamp sets that I've got that are available in the catalogue and take it back to basics, really sort of um, just trying to stick as much as possible to stamps, ink and paper. Um, I am going to be using um, our blend pens um, and I might stick a few sparkly bits on and I might use some watercolour pencils but it, it gives you more of an idea of what you can do with just literally stamps, ink and some cardstock. Um, so I've got a layout in my head, um, I've got some stamp sets and it is going to be just a case of uh, getting it down onto a card and um, hoping that the simplicity of it just you know really shows you how easy card making can be um you don't need loads and loads of equipment you don't need tons of space you can literally just you know stick to stamps ink and cardstock and um and make some really pretty um cards for people Okay, um, I was going to just say about the weather, you know, it's, I was in Italy a couple of weeks ago and we had really nice weather there. We had a few thunderstorms in the evenings and that. We were up in the main, near the mountains at Lake Garda and um, came back and ever since then it's been raining. So I'm sort of, I feel as though my suntan's fading a bit and I need some sun. So uh, I'm glad I'm not out in Italy at the moment with the really, really high um, temperatures that they've got out there. But I would like the jet stream just to shift a little bit out of the way so that we get some of that nicer weather rather than the rain and the mist and the murk. And it's uh, it's quite cloudy. It's bright-ish in places, but it's quite cloudy here today. So um, hopefully I'm not going to get too much sort of shadow from bright sun but um and it won't be too dark on the anyway okay so as i say starting at 11 p.m tonight because we are obviously an hour behind europe we have a 15 percent off stamp sale from all the stamps in the annual catalog other than the host stamps um so that's quite a lot stamps um so if you've got your eye on a few and i'm in an iron about whether to get them now's a really good time save a few quid um if you're local to me i will be placing an order i've held off placing my order from yesterday um but i will be placing it at five o'clock tomorrow tea time so if there are any stamp sets that you want and you're local to me, then you can save on the postage by letting me have your order and uh, and payment and then I'll order them with my stuff. OK, so that's that bit. Oh, and the other thing is to mention is obviously we're, we're doing these um, every £45 that you spend in July, you earn a £4.50 coupon which gets emailed to you if you place <clears throat> excuse me if you place the order stamping up will email you the four pound fifty coupon code um if the order comes through me then it'll get sent to me and then i'll let you have those codes um but they're four pound fifty so that's equivalent to ten percent um so effectively yeah you've you could sort of like so, well, OK, that'll be 25% off the stamp set, effectively. But you get the £4.50 co coupon code to spend in August. Um, so, like, in August, you know, if 
um well i know what i'll well i don't know what i'll be ordering but i will be ordering stuff from the, the um mini catalogue that goes live in september but the christmasy stuff um but you know if if there wasn't stuff that you anything particular that you wanted you could you know use them to order consumables adhesives uh cardstock you know stuff that envelopes stuff that you're using all the time in card making um it's just a great way of saving a few quid which we all like to do okay so right enough of me rabbiting on i'm gonna just turn the camera around and um and get on with this so if there is anyone watching then uh, say hello in the comments and uh, I'll try and I've got another screen on so I'll try and keep up with the comments but it's not very easy okay bear with me there is a bit of shadow but hopefully it won't be too much of a problem okay so this is the annual catalogue and literally it's just stamp sets so you know the bundles um don't have an extra 15 percent off it's just the stamp so if you were to if you wanted to order like for example this one then you know you do the you get your 15 percent off of the stamp set and then you'd have to order the dies separately which the numbers and that's for that is shown just down the bottom of the page um, because obviously they advertise the bundle here so that's just the stamp set and to get the dies you need to go to page 159 or if you're looking at it online um, you just go through to the the dies and find the the relevant dies Okay, because that's it will work out cheaper then because the stamps are cheaper. Okay. As I say, there's there are lots and lots of stamp sets in there. And if you are ordering online, um then this is the host code for July V nine Q Y W j x seven and you can input that at the start of any order and um orders over 30 pound before postage will then get a additional gift <clears throat> in the uh in the post from myself and that would be in the following month okay right so i have basically got Some different coloured cardstock, the inks that match, a black ink and a few sets of stamps. So I was going to make the first card, I was going to make it up and I thought no I'll, I'll just leave it as it is and I'll make it up um, as we're doing it. So I have stamped it um, but I'll just get the die, the stamp set first. So the first one I'm going to use is this Enjoy the Rhythm. I bought this because um, my daughter is learning to play the drums. And uh, and I thought, well, that's really good. And it's her birthday coming up, so I've got to make her a card. But um, she expects me to make fancy fold cards for her and that. So uh, I've got to have a really good think about this one for her. But... The card I'm making today is is a very simple. I'll put that over there for a minute. A simple um, layout, as I say, just that can be used, you know, for any um, or most stamp designs, really. Okay, so we've got a card base. This is Azure Afternoon. It's one of the new colours. It's a really nice blue. And this measures eight inches 
by five and three quarters. Now I don't have the sentiment, the centimeters written offhand. So centimeters is twenty point three centimeters by fifth sorry fourteen point seven and then it's scored in the middle four inches or ten centimeters. Okay, so that's the first that's the card base. Then I've got two white layers which are exactly the same they're um, three and three quarter inch three and three quarter inch by five and a half so it's just taking quarter quarter of an inch off of the measurements of the card base just so that it leaves us with um, eighth of an inch border around the outside and in centimeters I really should write this down it's 14 centimeters by nine and a half centimetres. Okay, so that's one piece for inside the card and one piece for the front. And then I've got a three inch square piece or 7.6 centimetre square piece of cardstock. And this one is two and three quarter inch square or seven centimeters square and as you can see i've already stamped uh, in memento ink the drum set and it comes out really well as you can see this got the shading on it as well so that's makes it really easy for coloring if you wanted to color it um but what i want to do first of all with this stamp set, I don't know whether you saw the, um, on the front we've got some notes as well, there's also a electric guitar and a keyboard. But with the, um, with the notes I just want to stamp over the, the white front layer. And I'm going to do that with the Azure Afternoon ink. And it's just just to give you know just to give the card a background. So I'm just gonna randomly sort of stamp these. And I don't know whether you can whether you can tell I it, it isn't smudging um put that down. This bit here it's the way the stamp is designed it's got um it's got like if you can see on the picture on this bit it's got some shading on there as well so it's it's not it's not because it's um faulty or you know anything like that or my, you know, I haven't smudged it as I've been stamping it. And then I'm just going to stamp off and do some slightly lighter ones. This is called a second generation of ink. So it, you know, it gives you a slightly different colour, tone of the colour. Okay, so I'm just gonna just got my stamping scrub over to the side. I'm just gonna give that a quick clean. So so that will sit on there and as you'll see with this it's going to go 
probably about there so it is literally just giving it a bit of a background but first of all I just want to I've got um there are different ways of being able to do this these are blender are blend pens and you get two in a pack they're um, light and dark and you've also got a big fish um, fish like a brush stroke tip on that one and then a thinner bullet point on that one and they're really good for blending so like the darker one and these these stamps are perfect because you know they they've got where they've got the shade in is really where you want to do the the darker coloring now i'm just coloring the um gonna just color the drum sides So I'm not not gonna you know, I'm gonna take take a little bit of time just to make sure that I get don't get the dark bit in the wrong places. But it's really simple because obviously they yeah, you know, they shade it basically for you. And then then when you put the lighter colour over it blends so you don't have that line where the two colours meet it blends really well and they are really easy for to use so they are worth looking into okay I'm probably not going to colour any more of that because it's just really adding a little bit of the colour so that's there ready I also need um, another block and I'm just going to get a piece of white now I've got lots of scrap pieces of white, so I'm just going to pick one of those out. Gently tap, tap, tap. Okay, so that's the... Happy birthday stamp from the same set. Right, before I just move that out of the way so I've got a bit more space, I'm going to just bring my trimmer in and cut this down. Just literally, it's only going to be a little trying to get it on that line there, and then I go back to my bits of. It's your afternoon and so this is three quarters of an inch so I want an inch by um, just sort of one and seven eighths so I'm going to cut this bit first and then one and seven eighths and 
and then that will layer onto there and then um, just thinking about the inside of the card and I'm just going to pop some more music notes just as a extra bit inside and now I can put this card together so see whether my glue's bunged up is a little bit on it to it this glue is great and I've I've got a couple of you may have seen these before they're um nail varnish bottle holders and uh, it just keeps the glue because I only really use this this little end it keeps the glue up there but they do get um, a little bung that you need to sort of just pull out And see, I haven't uh, find one that I've used more recently because that one's playing up for me. There, that's better. Okay, so just pop that one in the middle. my just get my bone folder out so that I can reinforce the score line they're not made from real bone of course if they were I wouldn't use it right now I'm going to layer this one up Obviously, this glue's really good, but you, you know, don't pull it too close to the edge because it will squirt out. So I put it in, and then it, it it gives you a bit of wriggle room for when you're sticking things, but um, yeah, you don't don't want it squirting out the edges really because it uh, can get a bit messy. And then you'll end up with lots of glue on over your hands as well. I'm just going to layer that one up like that. That will go on there. And then this little birthday sentiment. Gonna go down there. So this is really taking it, you know, taking it back to basics. Now you could just stick this on using Tombow. I try and I just do it by eye just to try and make it sort of in the middle. You can always use dimensionals. I'm gonna put dimensionals on the sentiment because it just gives it just raises it up a little bit okay so I can of course obviously you can you know add uh, little gems or whatever embellishments to that if you want but that's a very quick straightforward simple card using not a lot else other than the uh, stamps ink and paper okay so that's that one so i shall just take these off of these stamps off of the block so, and leave that one out the way 
So that's the um, Enjoy the Rhythm stamp set. I'm just having a slurp of coffee. Um, so some of the other stamp sets I've pulled out are Playing in the Rain, The Beautiful Balloons, Cheerful Daisies and The Happy Hedgehogs. Um, so I'm just going to have to bear with me as I uh, as I work out what to do with any of these because I've not I've not um, not practiced anything, not thought about it other than I'll just grab some stamp sets. Okay, so again we've got this is um, Lost Lagoon. I've just got to let my dog. Out with me two seconds it's obviously got too hot and doesn't want to be in here anymore so that's fine anyway okay it's back to this i've got um lost lagoon same card base Just burnish that one. Again, I've got two white layers, exactly the same. And at the moment, I've got, I haven't cut the, um, the bit to go on the front because I haven't decided which stamps that I'm going to use. I think I'm going to use this one. So I'm going to do another um, another mm, might not be square. I'm going to see how big this piece is. That's two and three quarters and so that's okay. So I might just do a slightly bigger or slightly rectangle piece so that's uh, two and three quarters by three and three quarters and then I need a three by four inch piece and then this bit will be used for sentiment I've done that okay so I think what I'm going to do first of all with this this one as you can see I haven't used it much um, there is a punch that builds the hedgehogs but I don't want to use the punch today I want really want to just play with the uh... Ooh, with the stamp see what that... okay so that fits on there so I've got my black memento ink so this time I'm gonna ink up this little tree and stamp most of it on there you see like that I haven't quite as you can see this bit here didn't get onto the page but that's fine that's as much as I need and then um Find one of the little hedgehogs. Sorry about that noise, it's the uh, film coming off. Okay, so I want the hedgehog that will face that way. And hopefully this will fit. Yep, perfect. So 
So again, just ink up. That. And there's a nice little butterfly as well, which I think I'm just going to... Just going to add... so that that piece isn't quite so bare and there is also um, a piece of little tiny stamp teeny tiny stamp if I get my I do have a smaller block for it but it must be still in a box so I'm just gonna just literally gonna add a few extra bits of grass along the bottom okay pop that back on there for the moment now I do have my blends in the lights and the dark but another way you can use your ink pads to colour is with these blender pens and they come in a pack of three but they've got got something in them and you literally just put a bit on the end and then you you color and you depending on how much ink you've got on there you know you can make them lighter so it also looks a you know, similar to watercolours and you can get your difference in texture by the different colour rather than it being you know a complete solid colour just takes a little bit more time just to double it on a bit it's really quite easy and what you do when you you don't need one of these pens for every single color or color family what you just do is when you've finished coloring in you um you just scribble it onto a piece of scrap paper i'll show you in a moment i just do a bit of this bit around this grass literally you just scribble it until it goes clear and then you can use it on the next colour okay so um now i'm gonna i'm gonna do this with these because it's a bit quicker and this is the light berry burst so obviously this one is just adding a few few bits of colour to it if you don't like um, or you don't want to use saint quite this um, intense I guess the colour is because it's quite bold then um, we do have watercolour pencils as well and they work really well and again, you can use those blender pens, these ones, to um, blend in the edges of the watercolour pencil so that they, they look more watery. Or you can leave them in a, you know, a normal sort of brushed sort of um, effect. So I'm just going to add a bit of colour on there um, bear with me I'm just going to 
look at my this is um, a crumb cake one I just want to add some some colour onto the hedgehog Well, obviously, this is adding more bits to um, the stamp set. You can, you know, if you've got felt tip pens or normal colouring pencils, you can, you can use those just as easily. You don't, you don't have to go and spend lots of money to start. You know, you can build build your collection up gradually. Um, I think I'm going to just, oh, I've got a lemon lolly, which is one of the new colours. I'm just going to pop a few bits like that. Oh, we've got a cat fighting outside by the sounds of it. Okay, so that's going to go on there. So I may as well do that. Now obviously, you know, when you're when you're colouring, you can you can take as much time or as little time as you like, really, with the colouring side of it. Um, for this one, I'm going to. I think I'm going to use the tree and um, but I don't want it in black. Oh, I may just actually now I think what I'll do is just use just going to use the hedgehog and I am going to do it in black rather than the, the green and it because it's just randomly There is another hedgehog as well, one that faces the other way, so I mean you could yeah. It's just really giving it a bit of a background without embossing it or um yeah. So you see so that will go up like that. And then obviously we don't have as much space for the sentiment so I'm just going to have a look see what what I've oh no it's not out of the same yeah no I do want to use one out of the same so there's the sentiment here it says it's so nice of you to be so nice so I'm just going to use that because it's like a little thank you Hard then really. Um, again, find a stamp set, a block, and I've got my green. My lost lagoon. So I'm just going to stamp that. As you can see, it stamps really nicely that up there and then I'm just going to cut it down so this is going to be if I chop a tiny sliver off the top it's really tiny it's going to go So the next bit will be 
one and seven eighths wide. So one and seven eighths. And then I'm going to need to decide. I'm just going to trim it down a little bit because that's quite quite a lot of white that I don't want. So try and trim it down. You could use a pair of scissors to do this quite easily. Um, so it's just under. So it's one and seven eighths. So it's going to be two and two and one eighth long to give us that same border so we can uh, sort of lay stuck that one together that's that bit I don't know about where you live but we've got um we've got quite a few little um hedgehog hospitals and uh locally to us um and they do great work saving these uh poor little hedgehogs that get abandoned or aren't very well and um right the inside bit one of the um one of the ladies that's heavily involved with it is a ta at my son's secondary school and um you know she works works really really hard doing you know the school <laughs> The duties at school and then uh, also yeah so i've just put a bit of a tree on that one also the um she gets up at like i don't know five o'clock or some something really early so that she can go and check on the hedgehogs and and that and then there's so that's i think she's at brimscombe or busage busage area and then there's one in the Stanleys and there's a few of them about anyway so that's the lovely happy hedgehogs and um <clears throat> lost lagoon that one is okay so i'm sort of running out of spaces to put everything um Okay, I think I'm going to use this one next. Um, and I'm going to, for this one, I'm going to use the Berry Burst cardstock. And again, it's the same, same size. So it's eight inches by five and three quarters and it's scored at four. Again, I've got two um white layers three and three quarter inch by five and a half and i've got some let's see a bit of berry burst to be able to fit my sentiment on and i've got my scraps of white so um and i haven't got the other bit because i'm not sure wasn't sure what i was going to do on it yet so let's have a look at these these stamps first of all I'm just going to have to clean the tree stamp so I can get that block let's pop that 
back in there okay now this this is a really cute um streamer effect so i'm gonna find my berry burst ink pad and for this one i'm going to i'm going to use this on the background and just stamp some streamers and obviously because i've now stamped that i can stamp it lighter and as you can see with the different you get totally different colors You can just do as much or as little as you want really, it's sort of, because that bit hasn't stamped, I'm just going to put a bit more on there, it won't, right, let's get rid of that because that's a bit mucky now. So the balloons that we have, some quite nice. It's a big. There's a big one. This is like the like um, textured. It's like little dots and stars and that, so that you can stamp that and then cut out a balloon. As it comes with dies, if you want the dies as well. But obviously, if we're just thinking about the. Um, just thinking about the stamps at the moment really and um, this is the piece that I wanted so again I mean with these with photopolymer you should really use a a mat underneath because you don't have the the cushion that you have on the red rubber stamps so it just gives you a more even finish so that's the big stamp then I'm going to use this let's get our celebration on we need to find another go and do that in this colour as well and it will stamp round like so when you pull these ones off the block because um you want it to then fit round the balloon if you just lie it down on on the table it will sort of go back to its normal position and then you can pick it up on a block from that um what else have we got here we've got a little this is a little little um like tassely ribbony bit so I'm just gonna I'm gonna do that in black That's, that can just go on there like that okay 
Okay, so now that I've done that, I can work out. Let's pop that out of the way. Work out what size I want this to be. Um, I'm going to cut it. We don't actually need a cent another sentiment because that one's already there. So it's going to be. Mm. That's okay, so that's maybe slightly that way. And then I'll take a bit off of this end, so that's going to be four and a quarter inches that way. And then obviously I want it below that, so I want it sort of, but I've got try and get it even so if I it's easy to to line it up with this so that you can see exactly where you're going to cut and then once it's so you can see that it's down okay so that's three inches by four and a quarter so now I need a piece of very burst cardstock that measures four and a half by three and a quarter and that will layer onto there like that and bun my glue take a sip of coffee I'd I don't know why I make coffee really while I'm doing you know, just before I'm doing this because I never drink it and then I end up having it cold. Okay, so we just stick this on. And then the middle bit, I think what I'm going to do with this one is a smaller balloon. Bring my, bring my little mat back in. This is a Sizzex one, but we do do them in the catalogue, they're only about £5 just under, I think. Stump that. And. Um, there's the other one I want. So then I've got like this little ribbon. like that and then I'll just glue this on in and obviously it being a celebration it could be birthday or congratulations or something 
Um, so yeah, so I think that's basically it for today's cards. As you can see, they're very, they're basically a similar layout, very simple, easy to do, but they look really pretty and uh, yeah, really easy just to make a quick card if you need one in a hurry or to add to a stash, but without having the expense of dies and punches. And obviously if you if you buy dies and you've got to have a cutting machine and uh, yeah, it, it all adds up. So these are really sort of like showing you how to go back to basics. Great for beginners because you don't need many items. Great if you don't have much storage space because again, you don't need many items. Yeah, this card and this card especially, you could make in any of these colours. Um, you can make them in any colour at all that you wanted. So, you know, but just uh, it's just good to have something that's a bit simpler every now and again. And we, as demonstrators, I think we forget to go back to the simple, simple stamping, and um, yeah, it becomes all about making the biggest, fanciest cards and. Uh, Every now and again, you just say, just need the simple. Right, so, uh, oh, hi, Viv. Thanks for that. How is Spain? I hope you're not uh, not too hot out there and you're managing to stay cool. It's, uh, it's scary watching the heat temperatures in the hottest days out there. Okay, well, thanks for watching anyway, and um, I'll see you again next week okay take care bye